Hey, it's Gary here with Hungry Cat Games. It looks like the Ludum Dare, but based on Wikipedia page, I believe it's pronounced Luda Dare. They just held their 50th Game Jam Challenge. The Latin meaning is to give a game, which is a pretty good description. If you're new to Game Jams, these are events in which you have limited time to create a game. Usually computer-based, but in some competitions it could also be a non-digital game, like a board or card game. There is usually a theme, and this time around it is Delay the Inevitable. There is also a time limit. Depending on your category, you have either 48 or 72 hours to create your game. Well, the day job gets in the way, so even though I'm in the 72-hour category, I only had about 42 hours to work with. Of course, other commitments have to factor in, and over the two days I was able to allocate about 12 hours to the game creation. This was a solo effort with all coding, graphics, and sound done by myself. For a few months now, I've been tossing around an idea that I heard on a podcast. The concept was some type of game essentially involving rocks, papers, and scissors. Well, from that, I had an idea that I came up with on my own involving a team of rocks, papers, and scissors, which enter an arena and battle it out with the opponent's rocks, papers, and scissors. So if I give the computer unlimited resources and the player a finite number of champions, as I collectively call them, well then you are definitely going to lose eventually. So the theme of delaying the inevitable is easily met. To create the game, I first started by making low poly 3D models of a rock, a paper, and scissors. I then created an idle animation, a running moving animation, and an attacking animation. Next was to start on a GUI that would involve selecting up to 15 total champions from the limited number of the three choices. Once selected, these would be assigned to random speed and randomly distributed on one side of the arena. The computer would also get 15 random champions. Next, I worked on movement, wanting all pieces to rush towards the center. Putting a collider on each allows for the first two to touch to be the ones that battle. Of course, standard rock, paper, scissors rules would apply. The encounter in the center was kind of hard to see, so I set up a movement on the camera to also follow along and end with it close to the middle, watching the battles up close. Lack of time prevented extensive encounter code, so I settled for draw and losing to just remove the pieces, but if you are winning it, then I play the attack animation. There's a few issues where one piece could actually take out multiple opponent pieces which technically is a bug, but it works both ways, so I left it in for now. A handful of sounds were recorded, adjusted, and also added. The flow from round to round was set up, along with a basic GUI and an opening title screen, and an eventual losing announcement. At this point, testing was done, a number of other bugs were found and fixed. A bit of tweaking was done to the parameters, and I settled on seven champions per side, down from the original 15. It was getting late and I needed to start thinking about getting to sleep for work the next day, so it is time to wrap up and publish. For now I'm just interested to see what others think of this concept. If it's well received, then I have plans to do a full rewrite with professionally created models and animations and cleaner battle sequences allowing for true one-on-one -on -one visibilities of the animations. The bigger picture involves allowing for online battles where it's player versus player and of course taking it to mobile platforms. This was a quick but enjoyable game jam, giving me the opportunity to try out a new idea and I look forward to seeing the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell and share. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them.